students let me start by wishing you a very pleasant morning i want to ask you something today have you ever experienced sitting around a bonfire with your near and dear ones in cold winters maybe it is really a very nice feeling students this fire affects everything that comes in contact with it in different ways this is what we are going to learn today so we are going to continue with the lesson heat and its effect which is chapter number 5 of your textbook and the topic will be expansion expansion is one of the effect of providing heat to certain things so what is expansion when we heat a substance the movement of its molecule increases this increases the average distance between the molecules therefore the space occupied by molecules that is the volume of the substance increases this is what we call expansion so what is expansion when we heat a substance the molecules which are present in the matter they their movement increase and then this increased movement causes increase in average distance between the molecule and so there is increase in size of the substance or the thing and this is what we call it as expansion now expansion happens in all type of matters including solid liquids and gases but expansion also depends on the type of material so first let us learn expansion in solids when we heat a solid its size increases experiments show that different solids expand by different amounts for the same increase in temperature to explain this topic let us take an example have you ever seen railway tracks have you seen the joints in between the tracks there is always a gap in between the railway tracks do you know why it is kept it is kept because in summer because of heat this metal track expand in size and this may cause loosening in the attachment below it which may cause accidents also that's why there is a gap that is placed in between the tracks to show the effect of expansion we can perform an experiment in laboratory also this apparatus is called as ring and ball apparatus it consists of metal ring and metal ball at normal temperature you will see that ball passes through the ring but if you heat it and then try to pass it you will observe that ball will not pass through the ring why does this happen because heating has caused expansion of that particular ball so when we heat it it doesn't pass through the ring so what do we conclude from this activities we conclude that when we heat certain substance its size increases and why does it increase because of movement in molecules now we experience same type of expansion in liquids also molecules of liquid are not so firmly bound to each other like that in solids there is certain freedom to the molecules in liquid compared to that in solids therefore on heating their vibration increases more than that in solid as a result liquid expands more than solids on heating why does it expand more because in liquid molecules has more freedom compared to that in solid to demonstrate expansion of liquid we can perform this simple experiment in laboratory what we have to do we have to take a conical flask a cork with two holes one for thermometer other for capillary tube and then a burner when you light the burner when you keep it below the flask 
not directly you have to keep a mesh and over that you have to take a uh, you have to keep a conical flask and then you have to start heating you will observe that as the temperature increases the level of the liquid inside capillary tube also increases so from this experiment we can conclude that liquid expands on heating now in case of gases unlike solids and liquids the molecules are completely free they are not bound at all so expansion is a different level compared to the other two states on heating gases the vibration of its molecule increases and since the molecule gases are not bound at all the average distance between the molecule increases very much so there is tremendous increase in the average distance between the molecule and hence expansion in gas is more compared to liquids and solids so you understood the reason now this can be demonstrated in laboratories to demonstrate expansion of gases what we have to do we have to take a test tube then a cork cork should have two holes one for thermometer another for capillary tube inside a capillary tube you should insert or you should inject a small amount of water in it just a small amount maybe a drop then inside test tube there should be nothing only air now we have to keep this test tube which is filled with air in a hot water bath what you will observe once you place this test tube in a hot water bath you will observe that that water drop in a capillary tube rises above as the temperature increases so what do we conclude we conclude that air expands on heating and compared to liquid and solid it increases even more so we learned three different types of expansion expansion in solids expansion in liquids and expansion in gases we see this expansion all around us so we are going to take one example this example is of an automatic fire alarm an automatic fire alarm contains two metal strips one of iron and other of brass why two different materials that i will answer you in coming time so now consider that it is made up of two materials iron and brass firmly bolted together so this is a schematic diagram of an alarm so here you can see there are two metal strips that are joined together one is of brass and other is of iron so there are two strips that are firmly bolted together brass and iron then there is electric bell battery alarm and there is a pointer now brass expands more than iron on heating this is one reason why we have taken two materials brass expands more than iron on heating therefore when this bimetallic strip gets heated up because of fire it bends on the side of iron why on the side of iron because iron doesn't expand as much as brass brass expands more so this is another diagram where once we heat the electric bell it gets connected to the circuit and circuit starts running and then there is alarm this is a sort of simulation by metal strip when it comes close to fire it bend towards iron and then current starts flowing through the circuit and when current starts flowing through the circuit the alarm rings so this is how automatic fire alarm works so the by metal strip bends towards the iron and then circuits get completed current starts running through the circuit and the fire alarm rings so this is how it works i hope you understood the topic so these are the four things that happen 
in automatic fire alarm first it contains two metal strips iron and brass brass expands more compared to iron therefore when it is heated the bimetallic strip gets bent towards iron because brass expands more and as it bends the circuit of the electric bell is completed and the bell starts ringing to give alarm so this is how it works so that's all for today students i hope you enjoyed the topic if you have any doubts please ask me in the comment box or you can message me on my whatsapp number now comes the last part which is assignment fill in the blanks first when we heat a substance the movement of its dash increases i repeat when we heat a substance the movement of its dash increases second when we heat a solid its dash increases third liquid expands more than dash on heating now there are two questions what is expansion third explain the working of an automatic fire alarm you have to explain this in short okay complete this assignment in time in three working days you complete it click the photographs and send it to me if you have any doubts please ask me that's all for today thanks for watching the video take care bye bye and have a nice day